Many members of uh, Western United States, especially Los Angeles area, uh, Armenian American community have been wondering what really happened in 2019 court case, St. John Armenian Church, Western Diocese versus Mr. Petros Taglian. In 2003, Archbishop Hovnan Derderian's ally, Pastor Manuk Markarian of St. John Garabet Armenian Church in Hollywood, appealed to Mr. Petros Taglian to help the church build an adjacent hall. In good faith, Mr. Taglian purchased uh, the adjacent uh, parcel of land and donated to the church so construction could start. In appreciation of Mr. Taglian's uh, generous donation, the church leaders decided to name the hall Taglian Complex. It was later discovered that the Derderian Markarian duo were unable to raise the needed funds to build the hall, thus they once again approached Mr. Taglian asking for $15 million in construction loans. During preceding decades, Mr. Taglian had already donated nearly $1.5 million to various projects for the Western Diocese. Yet, he agreed to loan the money. The following term was agreed upon for the loan repayment plan. Number one, Mr. Taglian would manage the complex to ensure a steady flow of money instead of flow of income. Number two, the Taglian con construction loan would be paid back slowly from income generated from successful operation of the hall. As many of the members of the community were aware that Mr. Taglian was putting his neck on the line when the monies were being borrowed from the bank. Number three, once the loan was paid back, Mr. Taglian would surrender the hall facility back to the church and the church would reap the benefits for posterity without having done any of the legwork except for sitting by and let Mr. Taglian do the entire legwork. As planned under the management of Mr. Taglian, there was a steady stream of income paying down the loan. Suddenly, under the auspices of uh, Archbishop Derderian, they unilaterally decided to remove Mr. Taglian altogether in order to collect the uh, income dismissing the pay down agreement of the loan. They ended up in court in early 2019. Los Angeles Superior Court Judge uh, Randolph M. Hammock heard the case. During the court proceedings, Judge Hammock directly asked Harut Markarian, Executive Director of the Western Diocese, what would the church do if a priest was caught lying. Harut Markarian answered, he would be immediately fired and defrocked or excommunicated. While Harut Markarian was making such a pronouncement, he should have been well aware of the fact that his own father, Pastor Manuk Markarian, was going to get caught red-handed by Judge Hammock for making gross misrepresentations to the court under oath. Pastor Manuk was called as a witness for cross-examination. After answering several questions, Judge Hammock stated that he, did, he didn't find uh, Pastor Manuk a credible witness and that, quote, frankly, I didn't believe Pastor Manuk at all, saying that Pastor Manuk was just covering himself and his butt. These are the judge's words. In conclusion, Judge Hammock issued a verdict in favor of Mr. Taglian and ordered Western Diocese St. John Garabit Armenian Church Parish Council to pay the legal fees incurred by both parties. Soon after the court decision, an incoherent, incoherent soon after the court decision, an incoherent press release was posted on the Western Diocese website dated March 11, 2019. I immediately contacted the Western Diocese by email and U.S. mail for a concise explanation of the hearing. To this day, my emails remain unanswered. 
as an investigative reporter, I have concluded that it is clear that Archbishop Hovnan Derderian was indirectly involved in trying to railroad a benefactor out of his money. Pastor Manuk and his son, parish council member Harut Markarian, are part of the Derderian Triumvirate. It appears that a true conflict of interest and nepotism exists between Pastor Manuk and his two sons. Manuk is the pastor of the now demolished uh, St. John Garabit Armenian Church in Hollywood in addition to being a member of the Diocesan Council while his son Harut Markarian is, an exec is the executive director of Western Diocese in addition, in addition to being a controlling member of St. John Garabit Armenian Church uh, Parish Council. His older brother Gevorg Markarian is a member of St. John Armenian Church Parish Council, all at the same time. That's why the parishioners suspect that they are running family business through St. John Garabit Armenian Church. As the chairman of the Diocesan Council, a well-known attorney in the community, Joseph Ganimian, has a fiduciary duty to ensure proper management of the diocesan affairs. It is his duty to ensure the appointment of qualified individuals to serve as Archbishop Derderian's right-hand man and rather than Pastor Manuk who was called into the, uh, excuse me, right-hand man and official spokesperson of the Western Diocese rather than Pastor Manuk who was called into court to testify for the diocese. Why am I referring to this uh, a very important point. Uh, I'd like to bring to your attention the fact that on uh, Thursday, March 11th, Pastor Manuk Markarian, in his capacity as the spokesperson of the Western Diocese, went on the air. He made an appearance uh, 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 during the TV program hosted by Nune Avedisian on ABC TV in Los Angeles area, uh, making a series of misrepresentations. He was presenting packs of lies and of course uh, he was not referring to Mr. Taglian by name and he was not referring to myself as an investigative reporter by name. So, uh, but, but he uh, were, uh, was hinting constantly as to the identity of Mr. Taglian and Apo Jabarian, me, executive publisher and managing editor of USA Armenian Life uh, magazine and the Armenian language Haigyang Armenian Weekly. So on uh, uh, March uh, 12th, uh, Mrs. Uh, Nune Avedisian has uh, uh, posted the TV program on her Facebook uh, page and uh, the editorial offices has received uh, uh, so many calls. Our telephone lines were inundated by readers who had uh, stumbled upon the TV program hosted by Nune Avedisian, where uh, 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 Pastor Manuk, who is now known as a discredited witness in the Superior Court of Los Angeles by Judge Hammock, peddled his packs of lies. So, for the benefit of public knowledge, and in my capacity as an investigative journalist, and in the spirit of freedom of speech and free press, I'd like to present to you Packs of Lies versus Truth. Misrepresentation number one. The catering company, which was allowed to use the banquet hall, is not the owner of the banquet hall, nor has it ever been. The catering company does not have any ownership or possessory rights to the banquet hall whatsoever. Really? Here is the truth. It was agreed from the get-go that Mr. Taglian would loan $15 million to the Hollywood Church so they could move forward with the construction. It was agreed only if Mr. Taglian could set up a business plan and manage it to guarantee the repayment of the funds borrowed. Catering Company was part of the business plan. Mr. Presentation number two. In the March 11th press release, they claimed motivated by personal and 
business interest, a lawsuit was filed against the church attempting to encroach on the legal rights of the institution. Consequently, the church filed an unlawful detainer suit. Truth. The church broke the agreement or tried to break the agreement to boot out Mr. Taglian and shortchange him out of $50 million. In fact, Mr. Taglian had offered them to take over the, uh, the operation of the catering company as long as they would guarantee the repayment of the $50 million loan. The church parish council and the assembly and the diocese refused to offer such guarantee, potentially intending to cause such a huge financial liability to Mr. Taglian. So they filed a lawsuit against Mr. Taglian to take over the catering company without having to be liable for the $50 million loan. This would be against the original agreement. Here is the bombshell. The court found that St. John Garabit Armenian Church, Western Diocese, had no legal rights. Misrepresentation number three. The Assembly and uh, the Legal Council representing the case disagree with the court's latest ruling, which we consider a small setback. We will strongly continue to, def uh, to defend the rights of the church, utilizing all legal avenues. Truth. What rights of the church? Judgment Hammock ruled against them. During the hearing, the judge listened very carefully to the testimony, trying to figure out who's telling the truth. His comment in court was that he didn't find Pastor Manuk a credible witness, and he said, Frankly, I don't believe Pastor Manuk at all. He's just covering himself and his butt. These are the judge's words in a court of law. Judge Hammack also determined gross misrepresentations under oath by the Western Diocese's main representative in the court. Misrepresentation number four. The assembly vehemently condemned the deliberate misinformation and slander unleashed by a smear, a smear merchant and their so-called media outlets. Truth, calling investigative reporting slander and a smear tactics? Hmm. It's against my right to exercise my First Amendment right of freedom of speech and freedom of press. Misrepresentation number five. The Assembly expressed its full-fledged support of the parish council and the parish priest. Truth, how could the assembly express full support to these lies? Don't they know what is going on, or is it that there is a conflict of interest and nepotism within the assembly as witnessed by the judge? Misrepresentation number six. In response to circulating unsubstantiated, in response to circulating unsubstantiated information, innuendo, gossip, and obvious lies, it was promised to address the public with factual ed evidence via television and other media sources on the issues pertaining to the church building and the adjacent church banquet hall after the closure of legal proceedings. The assembly exhorted the public not to yield to the falsified news disseminated by the hateful misinformation machine. Truth. In fact, they are the ones who are trying to mislead and fool the public. Western Diocese puts out usual press release to distort the truth and advise their prisoners not to exercise their, free, their right to freedom of speech and press. The number one reason why they, my fellow Armenian Americans, many of them have, have come to this great country in the first place. Mr. Presentation number seven. 
The St. John Garabit Armenian Church has always been and continues to be accountable to its members and continues to fulfill its mission with full transparency in accordance with the bylaws of the Western Diocese and the laws of the United States. Transparency. <laughs> Transparency? Really? I urge the reader and the TV viewer to judge for yourself about the transparency of the Western Diocese. Mr. Presentation number eight. An individual or organization wishing to obtain clarifications or accurate information may reach out to the Parish Council of St. John Garabit Armenian Church without any hesitation. Really? My email of March 14, which was uh, immediately after their uh, March 11 uh, press release, read exactly like this. It was addressed to both uh, the chairman of uh, Diocesan Council, Attorney Hofsep Joseph Kanimian, and the leader, the spiritual leader of uh, the Western Diocese, Archbishop Hovnan Derderian. The media inquiry, re official press release from the Parish Council of St. John Garabit Armenian Church of Hollywood. Dear Mr. Kanimian, on the new developments of the official press release issued by the Western Diocese dated March 11, 2019, I need some clarification before I go to press. Would you be so kind as to provide some illumination to the following inquiries? Elaborate on the disagreements of the court proceedings, what and why. Clarifying the dispute of the legal proceedings about the church and the church hall. Provide clear information and on what the disagreements are. What legal basis does the, does the Western Diocese have to move forward in utilizing all legal avenues? Please elaborate on the disagreements of the court proceedings as to what and why. Clarifying the dispute of the legal proceeding about the church and the church hall, providing clear information on the disagreements that are, that are what legal basis does the Western Diocese have to move forward in utilizing all legal venues. This clarification will clear any misinformation on this setback. And for the benefit of the reader and the TV viewer, I'd like to mention that I gave the courtesy to delay publishing of my investigative article uh, since March 14, all the way to April 12th. So my article was put on hold to give them ample opportunity to respond to my media inquiry, which was sent both via email and via United States Postal Service as a registered piece of mail, and I have the receipt. I'd like to, uh, to have the studio technician show the postal office receipt. Mr. Presentation number nine. The Western Diocese uh, makes a statement of mission as follows. Uh, the Armenian Church will not stoop to the level of uh, petty and misguided individuals we will remain steadfast in our mission of serving our faithful. Signed, Parish Assembly, St. John Garabit, Armenian Church. Does this sound like uh, Archbishop Hovland Derderian addressing his flock? He would put on real nice act, showing smoothness, grace on the outside, yet he is really conniving and evil in the inside. What mission of serving our faithful? It is a misleading statement of mission. Parish Assembly of St. John Garbit Armenian Church should get their facts straight and start spreading facts and not packs of lies, for God's sake. It's only then 
that they can start serve. They can start serving our faithful. It is only then that they can serve our parishioners and God-fearing faithful. I mean, a lot of people have died for their countries. A lot of others have sold their countries. It has deep roots in Armenian history, the church. You cannot take the religion out of people. People need something to believe in. Our church has been historically corrupt. This is not new. Banking started with the church. And when you have banking, you have a lot of money, you have a lot of power. As Churchill said, power corrupts more, power corrupts more. And when you're always associating with the super rich, and you know how are the super rich, you figure it out. Protest and everything that they are doing at this moment, it is all against corruption and the negativity that surrounds for the people who are doing wrong. Church of Western Dice and Archbishop of Nander Darian. What they're saying is there is no transparency, there is a clandestine activity. I want to get some answers. Why are they doing this? If you cannot defend yourself in a just way, then you throw stones to, to people. And there was no such a thing. I don't believe because I know my people. Archbishop Hovnan Derderian of the Western Diocese of the Armenian Church faced protests this Thursday after Armenian Church Reform Movement supporters continued their campaign of silent demonstrations at St. Peter Armenian Church in Van Nuys, California. As they exited the event, members of the congregation were met with signs that call into question the believed corruption of their church's leader. Copies of the recent issue of Armenian Church Reform magazine were given to the members of the church who were curious about the current situation and wanted to know more. Police were summoned to St. Peter's after tempers flared from agitated members of the church who disagreed with the protesters. Archbishop Darian was scheduled to be in attendance for this Thursday's event, but has canceled a number of public appearances, laying low and adjusting his calendar in the face of recent events.